Hello traders out there in Traderland. My name is D7 here at Grok Trade. And this is the weekend edition. Good through May 20th, Sunday, May 20th, 2018. And the markets end the week mostly bearish. However, small caps slightly higher. Cr or, uh, financials, you can see that, down 0.8%. So it's lagging. Financials are lagging. U.S. dollar slightly higher. Crude oil down 0.4%. Gold break even. Silver break even. VIX break even. Bitcoin. Now, VIX, though, is under 13.5. That's really low. Quite bullish. Bitcoin is at 83.10. 83.10 and GBTC is at 13 and a half. All right. Let's get talking about what we're going to be doing this is what you can expect. I'm getting ready to look at all broad markets as we typically do. We'll look at daily and weekly. Then we're gonna go into the Dow 30 stocks, the big, big blue chip companies. We're gonna look at those technically. And then we're going to go and look at tech stocks technically. So we're gonna be looking at a lot of stocks. Anyway, go pour yourself a, a new drink, uh, go get your coffee, refill your beverage, whatever, because you're gonna be with me for the next few moments. And I'm gonna give you what I believe is the very best technical analysis. And if this is the first time you've ever watch one of our videos welcome it's glad to have you be a part feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of these and i've been a trader for 20 years i was the first person in the world to do trading videos i started in 2004 i was an institutional trader and i run a large 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 uh, trading club 500 plus in, in membership and anyway, I was with Rich Dad Poor Dad. I was with Teach Me to Trade Option Success, Star Trader, some others. I was a teacher, a, a, a mentor, a coach. And for the last 10 years, I've been a competitor here at Grok Trade. I own an education company. Anyway, <laughs> so that's about me. All right, let's get going here. What's interesting on the spider is this. We had a big symmetrical triangle. That symmetrical triangle broke out. When it broke out, I called it a sell. You'll notice, guys, I have these signals, these red arrows going down, these green arrows going higher. These are my personal calls. I put myself out there to, for, to be scrutinized. <laughs> these are my personal calls that I do publicly, and I leave them up here for everybody to see. <laughs> Good and bad, 100% of my calls are here, and you're gonna see these on all of our stocks. But the question is, why do I put my calls here? This is not to tell you when to buy or sell. I'm an educator only. I am by no means a financial advisor, and I have purposely did not go get my Series 65, my Series 7, or any of my certifications, okay? We are educators only. Now, however, I'm a big time active trader myself. These are my personal calls, okay. That said, it's also to get people to understand the caliber of traders that we are, opposed to talking the talk, walking the walk, so you can see exactly what it is we are able to do. And I hope it's helpful for you. All right, let's get after it. Big special triangle on the spider. Now, the spider is the ETF on this S&P 500. It is a great barometer for us to look at to see what is actually happening out there in the trading world. All right, here's the deal. We had this big breakout, and then I put a sell. So here I put a buy. I had a buy around 262, and my sell right around 273. That's 11 points on that one. And then we started to break down. After I put my sell on, we dropped almost a full percent. Anytime you drop anywhere close to a percent on any broad markets, that's a significant drop. It happened the very next day, and then what was very interesting is we didn't get a significant sell-off it just pulled back a little bit and stayed up this is a bullish pennant guys a bullish pennant is really bullish but i'm not ready to put a buy on it and i will explain that to you here in just a moment the diamonds the diamonds we have a buy down here at 239 we got a sell here at 249 there's 10 points there on that one put a sell on it we dropped about a percent the very next day after our sell and we got a doji on the a moving average. I mean, this is looking pretty bullish, guys. This looks like this dude's ready to rock and roll, ready to pop. Just not convinced yet. Why? Well, let me show you a couple things. I'm gonna go back to the spider. I'm gonna look at the weekly chart. Here's the weekly chart. We pop up, 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 but 
this past week, we went higher, but we pulled back. Do you see this? It stalled already. After the first big pop, we stall. That's problematic. I don't like that. Furthermore, if you look at the NASDAQ, I'm gonna to go to the daily chart on the NASDAQ. So we got a buy here. We got a buy around uh, 161 and change, and we're at 169 and change. So, uh, so we got eight points there, eight to nine points there. We you know, drop almost a full percent, and we drop it. Look, this one's a little different. Do you see how we close below this eight EMA? <clears throat> We close below this AEMA. That is relatively weaker. Now it's on low volume, so it's not that bad. If you look here at the weekly, the weekly, we pop up, 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 but we failed to even get to this upper trend line on the weekly chart on the NASDAQ. We couldn't do it. We've come up and people sold into it. That's pretty weak, guys. I don't like that. It should have continued higher. It did not do that. That is something I don't like. Now, the Russell's 2000 and financials can really act as a leading indicator. So let's pay attention to those two. Let's do, let's do the Russell's 2000 first. These are the small caps. Now, look at the daily chart here. The daily chart. We go higher, 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 higher. Call to sell. Immediately had to put a buy. So there's a, see, a call to sell at 159, but then turn around and had to rebuy it at 160. So you know, lost a point on that one. But here, look at what we made. Boom, there to there. You know, big difference. And you can do your own calculations. But we went up, 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 and dogeed out. Look how it's starting to roll over. It's condensing in size. That is a topping formation. It looks like it's ready to drop. It's ready to drop. So Russell's, if it's ready to drop, the rest of the markets are going to be ready to drop. Okay, so that's something I'm looking for. I think the odds are better of this going sideways or dropping than continuing higher. I just don't see that happening. Now it can, it can do that, but the odds are against it at that at this moment. That's all. Okay, that's all. If you look at the weekly chart, I know I'm moving quickly. We're at an all-time record high here on the IWM. The, the, this is the Russell's ETF. Looking quite strong, and it has more upside opportunity there. And let's see if it can keep going. Now, the financials. What are the financials showing us? Look at the daily. This is problematic. Look at this red candlestick on Friday. This is no good. Why did we have to get that? Oh, financials, you're ruining everything for us, bulls. So we have a buy down here at 26 and change. We got a sell at 28 and change. Okay, a couple points there. Got a sell at this 28 and change, and now we're at 27 and change, and we're we're dropping. This ruined it, man. We're down below a moving average. We got the 50-day moving average actually slanting downward. I mean, it's just really. I don't like this formation for a bull pullback. It's not great. If you look here at the weekly on the financials, I put a buy on it last week. Look at this, a buy, but look at it, it's already showing some weakness. Now we're staying above an area of resistance or support. Let's see if we can stay above that. But one of the big issues that we're dealing with, guys, is is the monthlies. Now let me show you this. Here's the monthly. The monthly's not over with yet, so we can't even look at this really. We got another 10 days or so, another full week. But this is the monthly on the financials. Look how it found support at the area of support, and it's starting to already go higher. This, If it goes higher, we could have a multi-month run. Same thing with the spiders. If I go here, put a sell on it a couple months ago, but this month, look how we're starting to bounce. If this month, if, if we close strong this month, I'll put a buy on it and look for the monthly to go higher. If the monthlies are strong, guys, look for many months to keep rallying higher. The only problem that we have is that means the dailies have to first go higher and then the weeklies have to then go higher and then the monthlies will go higher. They all work in unison, right? It's it's a collection of information together. Now, the <clears throat> there's one underlying issue that we're dealing with. One, weak financials, but the monthlies are looking fairly strong. But the other one is US dollar. The US dollar is strong. The stronger the US dollar is, it drags on the US equities, okay? So, I mean, check this out. Here's the daily on the US dollar. Up, 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 and away. Just a huge run. Huge run. 
But I'm going to look at something here. Oh, we're right at support. Oh, hold on. I didn't draw that right. I am very particular. We have three different trend lines we draw. I'm only showing you one level of trend line drawing. We teach three that we every chart should have to be able to know when to enter and when to exit. I'm just doing the basics here, okay? So what you're seeing here is just the uh, elementary level. But what's interesting is we're seeing above this. Now, the U.S. dollar looks toppy to me. If it does break down, it's going to bode really well for U.S. equities for stocks that will be great 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 however if we keep melting to the upside the u.s dollar we're in trouble in u.s equities we're going to see a continuation to the downside okay that's what we could be looking at if look at the weekly chart the weekly chart if you look at this coming across i'm going to look at something here i mean our resistance level on the weekly is right here at 12,024. So it has a ways to get up there before we get to that level. So we, the US dollar could keep creeping higher. There's nothing telling me that it, we're hitting any sort of resistance right now on the uh, weekly chart. So the daily could keep going higher, but the daily is really threatening a support level. Like it's ready to drop any moment now. So crude oil is a rising wedge. Look at the daily on crude oil, big rising wedge. If you are holding crude oil, look to start taking, taking your um, profits because this is looking toppy, 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 toppy. It's a rising wedge. It's no good. We don't like it. So that is, that's, that's, let me look at the weekly. The weekly, the weekly on crude oil, we have the falling 50 week moving average acting as resistance and that could break down if hitting that. So watch that very, very closely. Okay, let's get into gold and silver, you gold bugs out there. Daily chart, put a sell, man, look at this. So glad I had a sell on this. So I had a buy, see this buy, and then it went against me. And then when it started dropping in, I had to put a sell. So there was a trade that went against me. You can see that right here in real time because I, I wanna be above reproach. You'll see that these arrows, if you look at the, go back to 50 videos and you're gonna see the arrows going back. They don't move, they are always there. But you'll see that for the most part, we're all, we make more money than what we lose in the markets. Yeah. So look at this. We put a sell here. We got to sell at you know 125, and we're at 122 and change. So that's where we're at. I, I, if we didn't have this trend line here, I'd be looking to put a buy on gold. Big gap to fill. I can't do it. Not yet. Can't do it. The weekly chart, if you look at the weekly, got a sell in the weekly, and oh, what a nasty, oh boy, what a nasty drop. It broke a big area of support there. We'd have another area of support. Let's see what it does with that. Silver, let's look at silver before we get to Bitcoin, before we get to our tech stocks, before we get to all of our goody, all of our individual stocks. And if you find a trade on these stocks that we're looking at, if you take that trade, that is up to you. We do not recommend buying or selling any sort of securities, okay? Make sure we're clear on that. Silver, if we go here, look at the daily chart on silver. We have a buy on silver. I'm gonna stay with my buy on silver. Oh, what a mess this thing has been. It's just, but the problem is we're below moving averages and we're caught up in consolidation. It's just a mess, guys. Um, let's see what silver does on here. So we had this big pop drop. Oh, what a, it's just, it's caught up in a mess. Until we break out on the weekly, hold pat on silver until we get a decisive move to the downside or a decisive move to the upside, okay? I'm telling you, you're gonna see a move in cryptocurrencies that's gonna start r coming back soon. And when that does, it usually does not bode well for silver and gold, okay? I'm just say, putting that out there. And we'll look at Bitcoin here in just a second. 
So that is a silver. A quick look here at VIX. This is VIX's volatility index. It is an indicator of fear and what's happening out in the markets. There's no fear in the markets, guys. We're at 13.4 on fear. It's just, there's nothing there. Nothing, nothing, nothing there. No fear. So that's, that's a good thing, okay? <laughs> no fear, that's a good thing. That, it, but if we break up over this trend line, that could be bad, that could be bad. Here's the weekly, we're dropping. So we're fine. Um, this week, I'm not gonna put a sell or on the month because it's not, we're, it's not done yet. But if the month ends like this, I'll put a put a sell on the on volatility. All right, let's go to Bitcoin. Bitcoin daily chart. Okay, or up, up, up. Nice trade here on Bitcoin at eighty-one fifty area, and you know, we're selling on this one at ninety-three fifty. Lots of money on that one. Put a buy here. We're underwater on it, but I'm going to stay with my buy here because I think it's finding a bottom right here at this support level. I think we're going to go higher. Let me show you something on the weekly. If you look here on the weekly, we've got a sell on it, but I this was a falling wedge. It popped out of the falling wedge. I know there's no lines here. You just have to trust me on it. Popped up. This pullback is to be expected. I doubt we'll hit these lows here again. Even if it does, that'll be your double bottom trend reversal pattern. But I think it's gonna be higher, so it's gonna be an inverted head and shoulder, shoulder, head and shoulder. It'll come down, pop, and then rally higher. And that's where, you, when you see Bitcoin take off, you're gonna hear a lot of people, talking heads, and the gurus all over the news talking about Bitcoin once again. Everyone's kinda of quiet on it at this moment because it's, it, it's simmered down. But when it pops back up, it hit 20,000 and higher. It will go higher uh, until some other cryptocurrency replaces it. Right now, Bitcoin has 35% of the cryptocurrency market. Expect that one to, to go. GBTC, I'm going to look at this on a daily chart. This is something you can trade in your IRA. This will give you a cryptocurrency Bitcoin exposure. And uh, it's, a, it's something you can buy in your... Um, GBTC, something you can buy in your uh, your portfolio, retirement account, or your just your cash account. So anyway, we got a buy here at eleven dollars. We're sitting at thirteen and a half, but this is a bull flag. Look for that to break out, but it needs to break out over this symmetrical triangle too. You see this? It needs to break here. Boom! Hit this and boom! Break out. Breaks out. I mean, we could oh boy, we could be at twenty dollars pretty quickly here. Um, so this $13.50 thing could be at $20, you know, and it could happen fairly quickly. This thing moves, okay? So that's it. We're going to get into stocks now, okay? Stocks. Oh, man, before I do, I... Uh, if you have any interest in our training, I have a live webinar coming up Thursday the 24th. How you do it, how you do it is this. You go to Grok Trade and then you type in groktrade.com forward slash MTM, meet the mentor, MTM. Hit that. When you hit this, oh, this is Mark. He is our dynamite mentor and trader. But um, you can fill out the form. And that's just if you want to. This is us. Um, I've had a haircut since. <laughs> but this is just if you want more about our education. Again, we've been doing this 10 years. And that's how you can join us on uh, Thursday evening. Thursday evening. And, yeah, it, and if you can't make it Thursday evening, any person that puts the um, their information in, uh, you'll get a recording, so you can get that. So if you don't want to be and sit and, and watch that yourself, no big deal. We'll get you a recording. All it is is just to give you facts and what the training is about. That's all it is. That's all it is. I'll get there and I'll just be telling you everything that we do in our training, what it is, because it's it's it's. You know, people want to know what the training is about. So we will educate you. All right, here's the deal. We're going to go to Dow 30 stocks. Dow 30 stocks. Start with Apple. Apple. So we got a big buy here. We bought that. Where did we buy that? Um, 169. Sold it at one, almost 189. 20 points on that one. Boom. I don't know how much. You can calculate this to there. Calculate that to this. Um, 
Apple trades have just been very lucrative, very, very, very lucrative. We got a sell on this, but this is a bull pullback, guys. This is a little bull flag coming to a support area. This thing could rally yet again. Look for that to happen. Look for that to happen. It could happen. The market's rallied. This is going to rally also. AXP. AXP. Uh, I got to sell it. I'm glad I do. Rising wedge, sell. We're on support. It's almost like it's ready to break down. Wow, this dude. Man, we got in at 92.5. Got out at 101.25. And I'm glad to be out of that. BA. Got to buy on this one at 333 and change. I'm not, but we're at one. I mean, we're almost 20 points on this one. And, and it's going strong. Boeing is doing really well. Caterpillar, man, it was up 1.3. Boeing was up 2% on Friday. And Caterpillar is up 1.3. And here we got in that dude at 143 area and change. We're out at 155 and change. Here we got in at 153. Now, technically, yeah, even though I'm, I'm giving you the worst entry and exit on these days uh, what we how I trade I get in at better prices than even what I'm sharing with you on this because we have in what's what we teach but check here got a buy boom at 153 because very seldom do I get in right at the end of the day and this is right at the end of the day so I just give you the closes because that's what you see, and I think that's fair. Uh, anyway, 153, and we're at 155 and change. So that's going higher. Let's see if we can stay higher, stay above the moving average. If so, Caterpillar would still be a buy if you still have it, if you have it. Got a sell on Cisco. Look at this. So we sold it around 50, 45, 70, and we were down at 43 right now big big drop but we're at major support if it starts to pop here it's got a gap to fill i'll put a buy on it but it'd be short term buy because this is a rising wedge overall this is a big time big time bearish formation okay big time bearish formation but it could be a short term buy if it does bounce i will put a buy there we'll see cvx oh man oh cvx Oh, that gets a sell, and I'll show you why. I'm, I see it in my head, but I don't want you guys to just believe me why I'm calling it a sell. It's because of that. Support, support, broken. Boom. You, on Friday, get a sell. So for you guys that are watching me for the very first time, let me get my, make sure my thing is all. For watching me for the very first time, that's what I do. I put on a cell, and you will see that cell signal from this point forward <laughs> in the videos. There it is. So here we got in at 117, and we're out at 128. There it is. All right. Disney Daily Chart. That one I sold on Thursday because it hit resistance, dropping. We got in at 98 and change and out at 104 and change and dropping, so I'm good with Disney. It's a big symmetrical triangle. Until it breaks out over this, don't be looking long on that. DWDP has been going higher. Oh, do I want to sell that? I am. I'm putting a sell on that one. <clears throat> Friday sell. So this one we got in at sixty-four dollars. We're out at seventy or sixty-seven fifty-three. That is it. There, GE, GE. Ooh, la la. So support, support. I'll stay with it. We got a buy here at thirteen, and we're at almost fifteen already on GE. And that was a great call. Um, let me show you the sh short on this one. The short was at 1574 all the way down to 13 all the way down Goldman Sachs yeah Goldman Sachs um, we had a sell on this one at 264 then buy to cover it 233 a lot of money and then we put a buy there and we went higher what was it 233 to 240 
three to ten points there. Now we have a sell on it from 243, and we're now at 237, and dropping, and dropping. That's dangerous, guys. Uh, see, we financials are in trouble because financials are in trouble. The markets could be in trouble. Now, if the financials get healthy really quickly, then look for the markets to stay healthy. Home Depot. Got a buy here at 178. We're at 191 for the sell. We drop, oh, do I wanna put a buy on that one? Okay, I'm gonna <clears throat> put a buy there. So we had a sell at 191, a buy at 187. 187, look for that to break out. IBM. Um, that one is going against me a little bit. So here we got a sell at 156, 156, and a buy to cover at 142. I mean, just a lot of money on these. We come up, 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 up. And I put a sell on this a little early. It's still going higher, but this is called a bear flag. And it's not only that, it's a rising wedge too. Because of that, this is highly bearish. Guys, look for IBM to be a short. If the market starts to drop, NASDAQ starts to drop, that dude is a big time short. I'm good with my short on this one, okay? INT, oh, snap. oh, I already have a sell on it. If, if I did have a sell, I was gonna add it today. But I already have a sell on this one. It's a rising wedge. I put a sell on this, it went against me. Now it dropped and it smashed support. I think it's going to drop down below. Intel is probably a, a short. Johnson & Johnson could be ready to break out to the upside. This is a falling wedge, so for this to go higher, you got a huge bullish divergence on the MACD. That's great. We pop up, a little bull pullback. Well, this could go bullish. I'm not ready to put a bull on it yet, a, um, a buy on it, but this thing could be ready to rock and roll. Johnson & Johnson, JP Morgan. Woo, look at that drop. See, again, these banks, the financials are no good. Oh, no good. Had a buy on this one at two, 110, 17, just a few points, or not a buy itself. So we made three points on that one. Made on 10 to 115. We made five points on that one, more on that one. You know, it was, so there's money here. Here we got in at 107, we got a sell at 113, almost 114, and look at the drop. We're at 111 right now on JP Morgan. Big symmetric triangle, anything can happen and can get very choppy inside these triangles. Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola has been going down to a falling wedge. I got a sell on it, I'm good with that sell right now. Um, so on Thursday I didn't put a buy on it. I'm good with that because of this resistance area. If it can chew through that resistance area, that's good. It's got a big time bullish divergence too. That's strong guys. Coca-Cola is looking for a bottom. McD's got in here at 159, got out at 164 and it's dropping. Now it's at 161. Big symmetric triangle. Look for this to be a big breakout down or a breakout to the upside. 3M, oh, 3M is a falling wedge. I got a buy there at 195. We sold it at 206. It's pulling back, but this thing is ready. It's like it's ready to go higher. 3M could be a buy, guys, um, anytime now. So be watching that closely. Merck, 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 I got a buy, sell on it there, a buy on it there. Whoa, Friday went way down and up, so I'll stay with my buy. If that stayed down, that would have been a sell. But it went back up. I'm gonna call it a buy. Look for that to break out. So a lot of these blue, the bluest of blue chip stocks that are out there, looking quite, they're looking set up to roll, guys. But financials are bleeding out. There's a schism. That's a schism. You gotta watch those. All the market internals are highly important to watch. Microsoft, Microsoft, rising wedge, got a sell on this one, a buy, sell. Let's see what happens. I just would not want any part of Microsoft right now. Nike, Nike got a buy on it, it's going higher, it's cool, everything's cool with Nike. Uh, PFE, Pfizer, so this, oh, very interesting, okay. Uh, let's, let's analyze this, so here, 
Uh, we shorted at 37.80, covered at 34.70. So we're back in at 34.70. We're out at 36.30. So in here we got in at 35.70, get out at 36.60. And we get back in at, what is that, 34.70. And we're at right now 3570, if you will. This is a nice high base. Look for this to go higher. Pfizer looks like it's set up to go higher, just like a lot of these other ones. And, I mean, small or these large caps might be the place to be in the near future. Um, Procter and Gamble, I have a sell on it, but it popped up through resistance. So I'll stay with my sell right now just because we ended on a bearish note, but I think that's going to go against me. I think it's going to go higher, and if so, I'll reverse it. Travelers, Travelers, got a sell on it. I'll stay with my sell on Travelers. Um, looking fairly weak. UNH, you got a buy on UNH at 233. We're at 244, 11 points already on this dude. Very nice run. We got tech stocks next. Um, UTX, United Technologies, we're up, 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 up. I mean, look at this. We got in at 117, got out at 125. So, you know, what are the eight points? But we're still bleeding up. So I'm okay that I took our profits. We're good with that. Visa, got a sell on that one. Had a buy at 120 bucks. And then a sell at 131, 11 points. It's pulling back, but this thing can pop. That thing could pop. Visa could be ready to rock and roll. Verizon, uh, Verizon, got a buy on it, pulled back. Um, it hammered out. I'm good with my buy. Let's see if we can go higher on that. Walmart. Walmart. Ooh. Oh, I have a sell on it. Okay, there's my sell. It popped up. Yeah, I'm good with my sell. But this has a big, t it's in the apex. Look for a big, big move on Walmart. It's going to happen. You look for a significant move. It's going to happen. And you have Exxon. Exxon is a sell now. Oops, where's my, come on. I'm going to put a sell on crude oil on Exxon. We got in at 76 and change, and we're out at 81 and change, okay? There it is, another money maker. Let's look at tech stocks. Those things make us more money. Why? Because the beta is a lot bigger. You don't need to know what all that is. Beta is just the, the average spread that you get on these as far as the dollar movements. And you know anything above one, I like betas 1.25, one, one and a half or higher. You get movement, you get movement in tech stocks. Let's go look at tech stocks, Grok tech stocks, go there. We already looked at Apple, let's go to Amazon. Look how bloody, whoa, Baidu's down 9.5% on Friday. So is GoPro down 9.5%, huge. Drops in some text, guys. Text usually act as leading indicators going into the future, and they are soft. Amazon got a sell on that one, but it's doing a whole lot of nothing. But I mean, let me give you an example of the dollar amounts here 1456, we're out at 1579. Just big. I mean, look at this one. We're in at 1385, and that one we got out at 1544. Or this one, we got in at 1194 and out at 1351. I mean, you can see it for yourself. It's just great, great, great. Baba, look at this. Hammer time got in at 170. I'm gonna stay with it. We're we're still good at 195. Baidu, oh man. So Baidu put a sell on it and then it popped up. But look what it did. What happened to Baidu? There's news. I don't know what that news is, but I'm glad I got I'm out of this one. We got in Baidu at 231, got out at 272. Wow, look where it's at now. It's 253. Here. Short at 258. Cover at 231 and change. So, I mean, this one we got in at 222. 258. Phew. Yeah. All right. I don't need to do the calculations. You guys can pause the video and kind of guesstimate it yourself. 
Um, here we got a big drop. Uh, so it dropped against me on what day was that? The tenth. So you know, I had to call it a. So that went against me. So there, I got in at twenty seventy six, out at twenty seventy nine. Oh, well, I actually made a little bit on it. Believe it or not, <laughs> shocking. But I'm glad that we're short that right now. Cisco. I already looked at Cisco. Catfish. I call it catfish because the abbreviation CTSH just reminds me of catfish. And we got a big sell on this one. We dropped and we're popping. Do I want to put a buy there? You know what? I think I'm going to. I can't believe I'm putting a buy right now, but I'm going to. There's the buy on Cognizant Technologies or Catfish. I like to call it eBay. You got a buy on it, but that's going to be a short, guys. I'm looking to go short eBay, but right now my long is fine. Facebook got a, we're, we're sold it. I mean, Facebook, we're in at 159 and change, 160, out at 186. I mean, 26 points in just a short amount of time, just big, big, big money. Nice bull pullback here. Sold it, bought it, sold it, bought it right. Which candle is that we bought it on? Oh, on the hammer. So boom, boom. You can. Yeah, see these and consolidations. These will just chop you up. Sideways stink. So you, when they run is where you make your money. Like this run, this run was like great. We got in at one, let's say one nineteen, and sold it at one forty nine. <laughs> that's that's great. Facebook, Google, got a sell on it. Google, we're in at ten twenty three and out at you know 11 oh man a lot of points on this one a lot of points dropping it could be a buy sometime soon google with an l same thing same thing and gopro was down a lot look at that it gets a sell guys sell so we're in at five bucks we sold it at 542 boo took away a lot of our earnings but whatever whatever at least we made money right microsoft we already looked at that one netflix netflix i'm glad i got a buy on this one look at this down 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 we popped up nice high base bear bull flag bull flag look for this to pop guys i'm liking netflix nvidia got a sell on it i'm good with my sell like this we got in at 232 sold it at 245 in a relative, you know, what, in a week and a half? All right, Oracle. We got a buy on it. This is another flag. This thing could pop, guys. Watch Oracle. It could be ready to rock and roll. PayPal is up 2%. Oh, and it broke resistance. Boom. This trade is going very well. We're at 73, and now we're at 81 area. I mean, it looks good. We got to stay above this trend line. That would be great. Great. Red Hat. Oh, Red Hat gets a buy. Red Hat is a buy, guys. Is a buy. Shopify. Got a buy. Sell. So look at this. We got in at 120. Sold it at 144. In what? A few weeks there. Probably a month. We got a buy on the hammer. You know, we did the buy at 140. 42 and we're at 147 already just in a few trading days snap you don't want any snap let's get to snap to so snap i got a sell on that a short at 1760 1760 and we are at 1060 seven points 70 percent guys 70 percent in a few months I don't have a buy on it, so I'm not ready to cover. Twitter. Twitter. Got a buy on that one. Bull flag. Look for that to break out, man. Twitter could be ready to rock and roll. <clears throat> monologue time. Monologue time. Monologue time. Uh, this is where I, I talk a bit. Guys, here, let me sum it all up. This is what's going on. The bluest of blue chip companies out there are setting up to go higher. 
they have great formations looking to go higher. If they can pop that past some resistance areas, those things should be high flyers. The problem is we're seeing weakness in the Russells and financials. We're also seeing it in, that, or in the tech stocks, in the NASDAQ. Those are weak. The problem with those being weak is those are le leading indicators for the broad markets as a whole. That tells me we have a better chance of the markets dropping than going higher. However, this is kind of one of these weeks that whoever wins, the bulls or bears, you could see a significant move one way or the other. So I'm looking for a nice move going into next week. I just don't know which way it's going to go. Now, if we start to see, and, and remember this video, if we start to see the S&P and Dow in bullish territory by days in, but the NASDAQ and Russell's in negative territory, and you start to see that as a, as the, a, a norm or a collection of days that that's, that happens, that's a tell. That smart money starting to leave the markets or they're moving it to the safer money. So people are not as confident in the markets. That's what you're finding. Just be watching because we're in we're in one of those positions that we could start seeing that. And if we do see that, usually that's a tell. That's where you want to start protecting your money. Like right now, all in cash. At this moment, all in cash. <laughs> anyway, um, as a reminder, Thursday, we're, we're jumping on a webinar. You guys can join us. You can pop in and pop out. And all we're going to be doing is talking about our training, what's involved, what you get, just so you have all the facts. So if it's something you want to do with us, um, then you'll be fully informed on it. That's Thursday night. How you do that is go to grocktrade.com. You see my, I don't know, where is my, probably right here. Is that where my <laughs> grok trade is <laughs> at this moment in the video? <laughs> if, if so, go there at a slash MTM, Mike Tom Mike, okay? MTM, Meet the Mentor is what it stands for. Slash Meet the Mentor. You can sign up for it. But other than that, I'm telling you guys, we are killing it in the chat room. Mark the Meerkat is our primo mentor, but he runs our day trading chat room. And uh, we do an average gain goal of 5% a day. It's 5% it's on risk, not on portfolio. And we are doing really well. Last year, 2017, I think we did 11.3% on average per day. It's just insane. And he sent me the numbers for the first quarter, and I haven't reviewed them yet, but he's excited about them. What we do in the chat room is um, to stay above board is to we call out a trade. And everyone sees it. You know, hey, we're gonna buy Apple right now. Uh, what's Apple going for? Apple's going for 186. So we're gonna buy Apple right now at 186.31. And everyone can see it on their screen. And if he buys it at 186.31, he'll he'll say it. Okay, buy Apple at 186.31. And, he, and then he types it in. So not only do you hear it, but it's typed in. And but not only that, he puts which is super cool. He gets a little like um, Excel spreadsheet or a little tally sheet, and he puts it in the corner of the video. It's not a video; it's live broadcast. So once he says, "Hey, I've just bought Apple at 186.31," and he types it in, <laughs> you guys can all see that it's at 186.31. But he also says, "Entered Apple at 130, you know, 186.31 down in the tally area," which is cool because you kind of forget what the calls were earlier unless you scroll back on the chat. But you can see it every morning at, at from the beginning to the end. Um, what the day was, a winning day, a losing day, um, good trades, bad trades at all. And uh, when it's all said and done, it is highly, highly uh, profitable <laughs> day trading. But anyway, for some people, they don't, they can't day trade. They just want to trade on their own on um, swing trade. They want to do it early mornings or at night when they get home, whatever. Um, we do train people on how to do that. And we train people how to day trade also. But if you want to know about our training, you know where to go. If you just want to get into our training or you want to talk to us about it, you don't want to sit to a webinar, but you just want to talk to us about the training, shoot a text to us at 
that number right there. Now technically you can leave a message. If you don't do texting, you can leave a message there. But texts are good. Leave a text and uh, put your name and email address in that, it, you know, to that um, imaginary number. Because right now I don't see that number. I'll have to put it in later. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm doing bigger videos. So I'm, I'm doing these videos, <clears throat> but I'm making them big and worth your time. And I hope, if you're still with me, I want you in the comments to do this. Man, I got a tickle in my throat. I like these seltzer waters. Um, <clears throat> if you're still with me, I want you in the comments to put in that I stayed until the end and I'm from Hawaii, I'm from California, I'm from New York, I'm from Chicago, I'm from wherever. If you're from another country especially, put it in there. Where are you from? I want to hear it. <clears throat> hey, I appreciate it. There's a word from our president coming up next. Catch you guys later. <laughs> Bye. Hi there, it's me, your president, Donald Trump, and you want the best trading education? Well, look no further to other than Grok Trade. Yes, Grok Trade is the best trading education with Des W. Woodruff and his team of amazing people. They're great. They make trading great again. There's nothing else I can say except subscribe to YouTube. You want to make some money? You want to get into business? This is the best place to go. Like I said before, I have a guy for everything. These are my guys. Go to grottrade.com, subscribe to YouTube, follow them on Facebook, and it's the best training you'll ever get. Better than Trump you and with less lawsuits. So don't hesitate. Get there. And you want to make trading great again? These guys will help you get there. And thank you.